Kevin is in Chicago. He's got a thought on the Nuggets in the NBA Finals. Hey, Kevin, how are you? What's going on, guys? Thanks for my call. Um, the talk of the town is the media coverage regarding the Nuggets and Jokic. Okay. And you see, we heard Michael Malone kind of touch on it, and J.J. Redick had a response. And I just think the kind of the narrative is, well, they're boring. It's a small market town. Uh, they're not interesting, this and that. And I feel like, wait, you guys are supposed to be journalists. You don't cover <laughs> what's supposed to be boring or whatnot. You're supposed to cover the facts, report the facts. And the facts are Nuggets are on a tear, not on LeBron's supposed um, retirement or yeah, right. Talk about John Moran yeah, no, for the should... 30th time. Sure, sure. I feel like that's my point. What do no, you guys think on that? that? I'll leave you to it. Yep. And Kevin, thank you for the call. Heard this refrain a lot that the media is not giving the Nuggets yeah. like their fair share. And so I guess as a media member, we're forced to respond to this. Number one, I would say, I don't know how people can say that Jokic doesn't get a lot of attention when he's won two mm -hmm. out of the last three MVPs. I mean, now what more do you want? Here's the thing. It takes two to tango here. We play cuts of Aaron Rodgers every single day. You want to know why? Because Aaron Rodgers talks in a microphone every single day mm -hmm. and gives us stuff. Jokic, we don't get anything. I, we don't know this guy. He has a great story. I wish that we could. He has to let us in a little bit more, too, because there's only so much we can just talk about what we see on the floor and, like, his box score. And he gets his credit for all of that. He's yeah. a great player. Might be the best player in the NBA right now. He probably is. And so that's what the awards are for, for the media, for talk shows. He he needs to give us a little something. Am I being unfair? No, no, no. I, I here's what my take on it is. I keep reading and hearing how can everybody, how can the media or everybody not recognize how exciting the Nuggets are? And I, I was actually kind of neutral. I enjoy the Nuggets, but all these people telling me it's not boring in the history of the world. If somebody has to point out something's not boring, that means it's boring <laughs> or really boring. So yeah, just that call alone. I'm like, ooh, so the Nuggets really are boring because that guy wouldn't be calling. There's no reason to, if you know you have an exciting team, you don't have to call a sports talk radio station and tell everyone it's exciting because it's it's no no right. Here's a, I I don't think it's the interviews. I think it's the fact that your superstar can't jump over a phone book. I think he's boring style of basketball. Think of the key basket he had the other day to beat the, the Lakers. The fadeaway was amazing. Not the fadeaway. Oh. At the very end when he drove in on <laughs> Anthony Davis, just elbowed him out of the oh, way. Oh, yeah, that one. And hit a little three-foot bunny. The dude's a seven-footer who barely ever dunks. I mean, come on. If that's not boring, what is boring basketball? Because I don't know what boring basketball well, is. But listen, Steph boring Curry, basketball Steph, is close to the ground. But Steph Curry never dunks, and it's super exciting because he's, he's shot 60 from feet everywhere. away from the basket. I know. There's different parts of exciting. It doesn't just have to be dunks, though, is what I'm saying. Steve Nash mm, had all these eight incredible passes. That was exciting when Nash was playing. Yeah, I, I think the mid-range game is rarely exciting. I mean, well, by, I mean, sorry. I prefer Vince Carter over DeMar DeRozan. <laughs> I know. I, I know. But it's style play. They're just, I, they do have a slam dunk champion, well, ironically, in Aaron Gordon, but he doesn't do any of that anymore. Yeah, that's not his game right now. But here's the thing. I mean, he's a physical player. He's good, great defender and good shooter. But here's the thing. I think whenever I'm watching a Nuggets game, though, I'm yeah. never thinking, ho-hum, I wish I'd go scroll on my phone right now. I'm totally bored. I'm not bored by by the games they play. So I can't I can't call them boring. They're, it's entertaining to watch. I, the Lakers-Nuggets series was entertaining. So when you, you – yeah, but you doth protest so much. It makes me think maybe they are <laughs> I boring. I protest. Everybody's <laughs> telling me the – when everyone's telling me something's not boring, it's got to be boring, right? Is there another thing in your life where everyone tells you it's not boring? Every team. Totally boring. Oh, my God. Every team that's really boring, everyone's like, how can you say this team who's so efficient? The Spurs were the most boring team of all time, obviously. On a scale of, of 1 to 10 on excitement, they were minus 50. They were boring. You will admit that, right? But a lot of people used to tell me, look at how they play team ball. They're not boring. Come on. <laughs> uh, Thomas L's in the chat said the Nuggets beat guy was on the radio this morning telling fabulous stories about the Joker, including the Steve Miller band contacting him. <laughs> I mean, that's cool. The brothers are cool. I w Listen, the first thing that he does, and this is not a criticism, I'm just saying, the first thing that he does after every season, it gets on a plane and goes back to Serbia and lives on a farm for three months. That's awesome. That can be your prerogative. That is great. But I bet you if we gave truth serum to Adam Silver, he wishes that he was like 
around more because like the guy is charming you know you his think so you think his charming. person you think his personality and his lack of tim media. duncan was all-time great we did not talk about the spurs as much in the media i think because duncan it's it was just no because his game is boring not because the interview it has nothing to do with the interviews i don't it's care if you're about person bar. no it's the game i don't know i think i could tell you it's definitely the person no, Mike no, Trout is game one of the best so players boring. in baseballs, and we barely talk about the Angels, number one, because they stink, but also Trout gives you nothing. And his and game is fine, exciting. But is he, how is his game exciting? He, hit, he hits home runs. He and hits he's a right handed home runs barely over the fence in meaningless games hey, no, all his, the time. His, his defensive game is good, too. He's, 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 he's fine, really but he's like player. he gets a lot of home runs in meaningless games. He's not exciting. Bryce Harper's exciting. Mike Trout is not exciting. Okay, but Bryce Harper was on the cover of Sports Illustrated when he was 16. He's also led us into his lives. Now, the one guy I think who defies this, we're talking about baseball, Judge is kind of boring, but his game is so good. Like, it's the mammoth home runs. He's got yeah, the yeah. incredible arm. He's a Yankee. It's you can be a little boring or guarded, and you can still be a topic of conversation. I just I think Jokic has this charm and could be like a face of the league type thing, There's and no, I think he chooses not to, and that's his prerogative. No seven footers are going to be faces of the league. It's Shaq? never going to happen. Shaq, Shaq was, was a, a rare exception because he's so fun. Yeah. He had to push it to a degree that was ridiculous. He's like a platinum album. Nobody <laughs> wants talented. to see nobody wants to see the tall guy hit an eight foot jump shot. It's just not exciting basketball. I'm sorry. Uh, our pal Jay is in Alabama. He's got a thought on this. Jay, what's up, dude? I swear to God, this is my last time calling until the finals. I wanted to give it a rest, but I, you guys keep on coming up with subjects that just just pull me back in. But <laughs> as far as our, as far as these people calling up, complaining about you know the Denver not getting enough, um, and 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 Joker, Joker is not. First of all, the Joker he's got two big Serbian brothers with tattoos. They probably want to stay quiet. Ain't no telling what they do when they go back to Serbia. And then also, on top of that, those guys talking trash to the Laker fans was hilarious. They were talking trash to Jack Nicholson. I mean, listen, hey, when know, the stories are there, we tell them. Yeah, you notice nobody was messing with them either. No. They probably talk all the junk they want. Ain't nobody stepping to them. No, the Marquis, the, the Morris twins learned that the hard way. Yeah, but um, I'm telling you this. When Denver starts winning titles, when they start winning multiple titles, yeah. We'll be talking about them all the time. But until then, if you're a Denver fan, sit down, shut up, eat your sausage, enjoy your sausage, enjoy your Italian sausage. We talk about it in the chat because we're here making sausage. We're not trying to be a bunch of sausages or cheeky sausages. When you start winning, when you when you start winning, yeah, we're going to start talking about you all the time. But you have not. this is your first time even being there. So, yes, you're going to take a back burner to these programs or to these teams that are legacy. Yeah. Lakers, legacy. LeBron has a legacy, and he's not even retired yet. So it's kind of like just chill. We, you know, you got to start winning. It's become a dynasty. Or you, Nobody was talking about the Warriors until the Warriors started winning. Put it that way. Yeah. Jay, I think you're right on about that. Fantastic call. Now I have no idea what the sausages thing is about. but uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't even agree with Jay. You do not. Why not? I just think big men-led teams. Are, nobody wants to see Anthony Davis. Nobody wants to see Joker. And- we like Giannis. Do we? Yes. It's Giannis <laughs> in the top ten of Game Pass. That you're gonna, are you going to watch a random Bucks Hawk team? No. I hope you're not. After Giannis won his title, I don't know. I'm not seeing it. He's so got. Who, so who do you watch? Well, Curry, LeBron. Um, for me, I like Devin Booker. Like guys who do something unique and different. The seven footer. Yeah, centers are never. Embiid. Is, I know Booker's got a killer Embiid's got a pretty game. good personality, but I don't think Embiid is must watch by a. 50 miles. No, here's the thing about Embiid, though. Embiid has this whole, listen, for better or for worse for him, the dude's, like, extremely online. (laughs) You know, he's, like, part of the discourse. He talks a lot in his press conferences, says things that we can grab onto. His game's tough to watch, though, sometimes. He holds on the ball forever. Yeah, and he he lumbers around. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they're so super exciting. And I'm a Sixers fan. I do not find them exciting. I don't really find the Heat or the Celtics super exciting either. Who's the... They're, they're not sizzle teams to me. I don't know who I find. Oh, Jason Tatum's scoring 50. That's pretty exciting. Jimmy Butler, that's exciting. Jimmy Butler? Oof. So not exciting. I mean. Jimmy Butler is efficient at best. Perloff, you are, this is, you are a tough crowd. I like highlight players. Yeah. Like, but you don't. But I, I said that I thought John Morant could be the future John of the Morant's league, and you're like, no. <laughs> yeah, I just don't think 
he's that good, but he's excited. Like, yeah, that's exciting. John Moran, now you're getting in the right path. What's Jimmy Butler barely dunked the basketball? <laughs> you know what I'm he's saying? Got an eight seed and one went away from the final. I need, but I, I need the certain second time the pizzazz. I think the NBA needs some of that. They need a guy who just can do like LeBron and Jordan things. Okay, but then it's like it's not just all one big dunk contest. That's the, what the dunk the, contest is for. I know that's my problem with today's NBA. <laughs> <laughs> not enough dunking. Yeah, I want to see. I, I want to see long threes and athletic dunks and. Yeah, I think the NBA is going into a kind of a boring mid-range area. Man, interesting. I thought you, of all people, would appreciate some nuance here because you play so much basketball. Well, yeah, but I, I'm, I have a very specific. Like, I like to, you know, I follow the the Raiders. Like, NBA was at its peak in 1998 with Michael Jordan dunking on everybody's head. Like, that's what I want to see. I have a very high expectation. <laughs> Just and it's in, unless Michael Jordan's back, it's not Kobe. Be I like too. He was exciting. Well, Kobe's exciting. Of yeah. course he is. And Steph is exciting. LeBron's exciting. Yeah, I have a high bar, Maggie. I do. <laughs> I do. That's why. That's Allen why, Iverson. I mean, yikes. He's exciting. Yeah, yeah, that's why. Are the Nuggets in this conversation yet? That's my point. I think Jay's got a good point. I think we'll we'll talk about them when they win. And as far as, like, Jokic meeting the Steve Miller band, I mean, that's cool. But it's, you know, here's my, what we've had, like, some of these stars it feels like we know them and we kind of get to know their personalities a little bit and maybe we're right and maybe we're wrong and maybe we were too critical or whatever, but at least we get a sense, you know, of who they are. And forgive me, I don't have a great sense of Jokic. I think that's by design on his end because I think he wants his privacy. I think he doesn't want to, and that's fine. That's totally fine. But you're, you don't let people in. You, you don't become like, it's not as three-dimensional. Right, I think we're talking about two different things. I'm just saying, yeah, style wise, it's, I'm talking it, about the whole package. Yeah, I'm saying it's January and Denver's playing Utah in Game Pass. Click. I'm not watching that game. It, I'm just not. Even if they're the champion, it's just kind of it's a good basketball, but it's not exciting.